All right, this is from this year's China's college entrance exam, which is called Gaokao, right? It's a nationwide exam for college entrance. So that is t uh, worth uh, 12 points. So it's a trigonometry problem. So the problem says if given a triangle, capital ABC are the interior angles, and lowercase abc are the opposing sides, and then we're given that the angles A and B satisfy this equation here. And we try to find, you know, the two parts of this question. If C is given, try to find B. Here C is 180, 120 degrees, right? And the other question is actually try to find the minimum value of this expression, A squared plus B squared over C squared, all right? So in order to solve this problem, it is useful to review some of the you know, facts on, you know, for the triangle and uh, for the trigonometry. And I list them out here. Law of sine and cosine, right? So let's draw a triangle here. Let us have A, a B, C, right? So here, capital letters means the angle, right? This is the angle A. This is the size A. This is angle B, right? This is size B, and the remaining one is size C. So law of sine saying that uh, the size and the opposing angles, A over sine A, this ratio is a constant. In other words, these two quantity equal to each other, all right? So the other one is regarding the length of the triangle c square, right? Equal a square plus b square minus two ab cosine c. Notice that uh, if c is ninety degree, which is pi over two, we know that cosine c would equal to zero. So this term will go the way, and then what we get is c square equal a square plus b square. That is the Pythagorean theorem for you know right triangles, right? So another useful fact is about this trick identity here is that if you have an angle x and the trace of the angle 2x, right? So this is the trace of the angle. Then you can express the cosine in terms of a sine and cosine x, right? This is cosine square minus sine square. Or sometimes you can write in two different forms, right? So this is a, a useful identity that is uh, used a lot. All right. So another thing is that uh, the relationship between an angle and the complement angle, right? Pi minus 180 degree minus x. For the cosine, it will change signs. For the sine, the value act is the same. So 180 degree minus x versus sine x, that's the same value, All right? So this is very useful, you know, facts. Another one, since we're dealing with what is called a minimization problem, and uh, you know, a lot of times. And this inequality is very useful in reasoning about the maximization or minimization of certain quantities. Here we're saying that the average of two numbers, right, is no less than the, you know, the product and the square root, which is called the geometric mean. So arithmetic mean is no less than the geometric mean. How do you prove that? And it's, it's the proof is actually straightforward by using some algebra. So since a and b are real, square root of a minus square root of b, if you square it, it's going to be long elective, right? And then if you expand it out, it's going to be, you know, the square is going to be a, square root of a square root, which is a, minus 2 square root of a times square root of b, plus b greater or equal to 0. And then you move this term to the right. What you get is a plus b greater or equal to 2 square root of a and b. You divide by 2 and then you get this fact. Okay, so that's very useful in dealing with some minimization and maximization problems. All right. So let's go back to the problem. So we're given this condition. We try to find these two. Right. Notice that uh, c is not in this, this equation here. We're only given a and b. But we know that uh, C and A and B, if it's as a map, they should be equal to 180 degrees, right, which is pi. 
or in other words, C equal pi minus A plus B, right? So that is good to know, right? So how do we solve this problem? Actually, it would give you, you know, a chance to try it yourself, and uh, we're going to provide the solution in the following up video. In the meantime, uh, you're welcome to leave your solution in the comments below. And please subscribe to this channel for you know new videos on you know this sort of problem and other interesting math problems. Thank you.